Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. Today our topic is, separate yourself. Separate yourself from the world and from Babylon. Why is this important? Because a new Pharaoh is coming. And who is this new Pharaoh? The Antichrist. We are now in the sealed tribulation. And the Antichrist will be the ruler of the world. And as a ruler of the world, he will make this world his domain. And anything and everything that you do in this world, your careers, cars, buying houses, riches, banks, insurance, everything will be only accessible if you accept the mark of the beast. So that is the reason why it's so important for you to separate yourself from the world. Do not be dependent anymore on banks, insurance companies or national agencies. Now it's the time when we have to come together in love, unity and support. When we have to come together, share resources, support one another and lift up the needy that the Lord will send to us. Now it's the time to separate completely so that we can be under the radar of the Antichrist, that we will not be detected, that the Lord can protect us in his safe havens. And what are the safe havens? The home churches that you will build in your houses, the dwelling places of Zion. There you will gather the people together, you will train and teach them, and there you will empower them and send them out into the neighborhoods to lift up the needy, the nameless, and faces, and to, and to do mighty works in the name of the Lord. And there the great harvest will take place, because when you shine your light into the neighborhoods with great examples, then the people will see it, and they will be drawn to that light, and they will come and want to join you. And so more and more dwelling places of Zion will be established in the same pattern as it was in the book of Acts with the apostles. And for that purpose, the Lord will send us his Holy Spirit. The fiery flame will be set on our heads for all of them who will be shepherds and elders and who will guide and lead this new church, this home church, this new move of the Lord who will guide them and train the people, they will receive these fiery flames, they will receive the Logos, they will receive the Holy Spirit, so that they be well prepared for the purpose of training and teaching and empowering the disciples that they will send out into the neighborhoods. Separate yourself also from Babylon. Babylon are the false churches and the false religion the false man-made doctrines, the false statements, that the false prophets that you follow. There are so many, as you can see on YouTube alone. And then the big pastors of these mega churches who are only there to get your money. They don't want anything else. A church is not a building. And the church is not an institution. And the church is not led by a bishop or a pastor or anything like that. We are all equal and we are all standing in humility. We are humble. And we are not only equal, but we share resources. We are supporting one another. We are the church. Where two or three are together in my name, the Lord said, there I will be also. Come away from these false churches that are there. Because you have to come out of Babylon. What is the Jezebel spirit of false religion? Because the ruler in that place will be the false prophet. And the false prophet will be the friend of the new Pharaoh, the Antichrist. So not only the world will be ruled by the enemy, but also the church system will be ruled by the enemy. So we separate ourselves 
not only from the world, but also from Babylon. Because we are the church, we are supernatural, we are the two sons and daughters of the Most High, we are little G-Gods, because the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, the three of us have created, the three of them have created us in their image. And when they have created us in their same image, then what are we then? Heirs, heirs of the kingdom, and co-heirs with Jesus Christ. We will not be the king, but we will be princes. Now, if you understand how powerful you are, and that with a little bit of faith you can move mountains, then you will understand that the time has come to restore the altar to its former glory. We are now on the way back to paradise. I will make a separate teaching for that. I have a, an image that will show clearly what happened when we came from paradise up to the midpoint and now we are going back to paradise. This is what is written in the Bible is the restoration of all things. And if you read your Bible, you also see that Jesus will remain on the right hand of the Father until everything will be restored. And who will restore this? The Elijah Spirit. The Elijah Spirit is here already. And the Elijah Spirit is now building a new altar in the same way as he did it when he was physically on earth on Mount Carmel. There he told the people, you have to separate yourself from Jezebel and from Ahab, the world. And you have to draw a line and make a decision now, either to stand with the only living God or you stand with the world. And this is the same what I'm asking you right now. Please make a decision and come out of the world and out of Babylon. Separate yourself. Build home churches, dwelling places of Zion where the true believers of Jesus Christ, the bright, the people that are so close to the Lord, that they are one, that the Lord will abide in them and they abide in Him, and they will obey every command that He is giving you through dreams and visions through the Holy Spirit, and they will walk that narrow and righteous path until the end, until they will see Mount Zion, until they will see the holy mountain that is not carved by human hands, where we will stand at the base and will be raptured into paradise to be with our Father, Jehovah Jireh, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of the Millennium, forever and ever. And on the way, we will bring in the harvest of the ages, the great revival that some prophets have spoken about, the revival will take place, but it will only take place on the side of the light, because great darkness will fall onto the world, and there will be no revival. It becomes worse and worse. Now you have to choose if you want to continue the broad way, or you want to come out of the world and out of Babylon and walk the narrow and righteous path. Separate yourself. Come out. If you have question how to separate yourself, how to build a dwelling place of Zion, how to gather the people together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, how to be a shepherd and an elder in this new movement, how to restore the altar to its former glory, then please send me an email to our ministry email at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Not triple grace 555, but triple grace 55 at gmail.com. And I will answer you right away. You also find the link in the description box below. Thank you that you have listened on this Boxing Day, that you have listened to this topic. Please separate yourself. I'm sorry, I still suffer a little bit from the cold, so sometimes it's difficult and I speak a little bit through the nose. Please forgive me for that. I hope that you like this topic. And if you're guided to help to expand this ministry, 
and that we come from 235 subscribers, maybe to 1,000 or 2,000 or 5,000 and spread the message. Talk to these videos about, uh, talk about these videos with your friends and families and with, share them with, through social media and subscribe, be a member, have a look at our websites and also spread the message that we have to separate ourselves and that we have to walk the narrow and righteous path. I thank you all so dearly that you are here with me on this special day. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.